Do you want your FPS to be looking like this? to this well you're in luck because today i'm going to be showing you guys the best pc optimizations and performance for fortnite so let's hop into it but before we start please drop a like and subscribe on the video and comment if you guys need any help with any of these optimizations and let's get into it the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to your windows search bar and type in control panel just like this click on it as you guys can see there's a lot of different options you want to go to hardware and sound power options there should be a little arrow going down like this high performance should pop up all you want to do is click on that and then exit out of control panel okay the second thing you guys want to do is you want to go to the windows again you want to type in powershell you want to go to this one right here you want to hover over it and go to run as administrator and this should pop up here what you guys want to copy and paste in it'll be in the description just copy and paste it and click into here as you guys can see right here hit enter basically this is a tweaks for fortnite so it'll make your game run insanely smooth what you guys want to do when this pops up is you want to go to tweaks next what you guys want to do is you want to click every single option i do here under essential tweaks Boom, just like this and then you want to hit run tweaks then it will run your tweaks i will not be doing this because i've already done it but after you do this it will run all the tweaks and when it say it's finished you want to close out of that okay guys next thing we are going to be updating our nvidia driver so all you guys want to do is you want to type in nvidia and go to geforce experience this only works if you have a nvidia graphics card just to clarify on geforce experience when it loads up all you guys want to do is you want to go to drivers up here in the top left if you have the latest driver it will not say update driver right here it will be check marked on the left side but if you do have to update it update it should be good after you guys update your driver you want to close out of this and let's get on the next step all right guys you want to type in nvidia once again you want to go to nvidia control panel open that okay guys first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to change resolution you want to select the monitor you're using and you want to come down here to under pc and you want to click 1920 by 1080 if you're not do the 4k option if you're doing 4k the option would be 3840 by 2160 and then go over here to refresh rate and put it on whatever the monitor you're using whatever the hertz your monitor that you're using is then you guys want to come down here to apply the following settings you want to go to use nvidia Video color settings for this one you want to put highest 32 bit rgb under output color format and output dynamic range as full then you want to come here to manage 3d settings and copy everything that i have here Also, quick clarification uh, under max frame rate, whatever what frame rate your hertz your monitor is. So I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I have 240 FPS. And under OpenGL rendering GPU, put whatever your graphics card is. And that will be it for the NVIDIA control panel. Then you want to guys want to close out of that. Then we can get on to the next step. Next thing you guys want to do is you want to open your Epic Games launcher. You want to go to library. You want to go to these three little dots under Fortnite. Click that and then go to options. And the only thing you should have checked here is Fortnite core and battle royale. Uncheck everything else. So if it's like this, uncheck everything else and then hit apply. Then what you guys want to do is you want to go to three dots again you want to go to manage and you guys want to copy and paste this into launch options i will have it linked in the description so you guys can copy it and just put it in here after that you want to close your epic games launcher after that you guys want to go to your search bar again you want to type in run open run and it will pop up right about here you guys want to type in temp hit enter and just left click drag all of this right click on it show more options delete do this for all current options just get close out of that then you want to open run back up then you want to type in percent temp enter then you want to same thing left click drag all the way down then right click show more options delete do this for all current items skip then you want to exit out of that then what you guys want to do is you want to go to files you want to go to windows c or windows d whatever you have go to program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 you want to scroll down until you see fortnite client dash 164 dash shipping exe you want to click it right click you want to go to properties you want to go to compatibility you want to make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked and everything else here is unchecked then you want to hit apply okay close out of that now we're going to head into the windows settings type in settings in your windows search bar click settings go to gaming go to game mode make sure game mode is unchecked then you want to go to graphics then you want to go to add a desktop app click that then you want to go to windows c epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 and then you want to click the same thing we just optimized which was shipping.exe click that and hit add then once you guys do that you want to go to where fortnite is selected you want to hit the arrow and you want to put whatever graphics card you have on and make sure it's high performance like this then you guys can close out of that and you're done with that now we're going to be heading into the fortnite settings also guys if you have any concerns or problems when you're doing these optimizations just let me know in the comments down below all right guys when you guys are in fortnite you want to go to settings go to video make sure window mode is full screen at all times make sure resolution is 1920 by 1080 if you have a 4k monitor make sure it is at 3840 by 2160 make sure vsync is off like i said previously make sure frame rate limit is whatever your hertz monitor is 
make sure your writing mode is always on performance mode. What I recommend here, brightness 105, 1x, future note, color blend strength 7, user interface parallax on, make sure 3D resolution is always at 100, this off, view distance near, textures low, meshes low. Meshes is what gets you kind of the, the bubble wrap builds, so that's why I do that. And then make sure show FPS is always on, so you can see if your PC is running well, and report performance stats disabled. Alright guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if any of these things helped. Let me know what your FPS was at before and what it is now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. See you later.